Hello world, welcome to part two of the shape hierarchy video. If you haven't watched part one, I don't know what you're doing here, but enjoy your stay if you stay. We are in the middle of our two-dimensional shapes. We did circle and square. What do we have left? Triangle. Class triangle extends two-dimensional shape. The triangle has three, three doubles because we need to know all three sides in order to calculate the perimeter and surface, perimeter and uh, area. Our constructor method will use those three sides and set the things, the instance variables we just defined, equal to them. I think I set these as public, but I feel like they should be private, so I'm going to try it as private, but I might end up changing those. We'll see. This side 1 equals side 1. This side 2 equals side 2. This side 3 equals side 3. And that, now we have our perimeter and our area. Public method, returning a double, perimeter, returns the three sides added up. The perimeter of a triangle is just three sides added up. And the area is the complicated one. which I'll return to this. It's this thing here that we have to define. So let us do that. First we're gonna make a thing called half, which will be that S part, and call that the perimeter divided by two. And then we're going to use that for the rest of it, which is going to be math.square root of half times half minus this dot side one times half minus this dot side two times half minus this dot side three. I think that's it. Do I have enough parentheses? I do. Return that number. I could have done that on fewer lines, I think. I probably could have done it on one, but it's easier to understand. So this is in the same format as this. The first one is that, the second one is that. All right. That's going to do it for triangle. That's going to do it for two-dimensional shape. Let's move on to three-dimensional shape. It extends shape, which really does nothing. But if it did something, we would be able to inherit that. We're going to... have a get volume, though again like we did in two-dimensional shape, we're going to return 0.0, .0. It really it's a placeholder. The function it serves is for the get string that we're about to do. We need to have it represented in the in the superclass in order for this get string to be in to, to work. 
This is our formatting of the string. Return string dot format surface area percent two decimal places new line volume colon percent two decimal places new line and then the two F's are replaced by get surface area and get volume. And that closes that and that ends that and that's that. So that is our two string and that is our three dimensional shape super class. Now we need to extend class sphere extends three dimensional shape a constructor we need oh we need a a int first a, a double r we need the radius now we need a constructor based on that radius here we're going to pass it double and construct it just setting that equal to that now we need to get volume method which is again returning to our chart math dot pi times this dot r times this dot r times this dot r times 4 all divided by 3 point zero. that should do it that's 4 thirds pi r cubed I might have been able to say it prettier sorry and then private double git surface area Turn four times math dot pi times this dot r times this dot r. That'll be what four pi r squared is the surface area. And again, we don't have a two string method because that is what we inherited, which is the point of the exercise. Moving on to cube extends three-dimensional shape public cube oh in my notes I define this in 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 three-dimensional shape which I could keep because they all use the R they all use only one though I would call the R would just be I'd consider it a side in cube but instead the convention because of the triangle used three of these I'm just going to keep all of these instance variables inside the subclasses but that's something think about things when you do things multiple times you can suck them up into one parent class and do them once and just say everyone refer to that which is really the point of extending and inheriting but anyway private double and instead of calling it R, since it's not a radius, it's a side, we'll call it side. And then we're going to construct it, double side, passing it, this dot side equals side. Now we need to get volume and a get surface area. Get volume. Should be easy with the cube. We'll see. Maybe not. What is the volume? Return this dot r times this dot r times this dot r. You know the r cubed. I don't think this, I don't think the caret thing works. Maybe it does. Feel free to comment if you know a shorter way or if you have any questions. 
Now, oh, sorry about that. Double. I'm going to return a double. Same thing with the surface area. Get surface area. Return. Surface area is just the area of one side. This dot r times the number of sides, which is six. And that's all for cube tetrahedron extends three dimensional shape. Oh, need to do the, uh, what is it? We'll call it side again because it's the side of the tetrahedron. Now the constructor, public tetrahedron double side is the input. This dot side equals whatever we just input. Now we need our get volume, which is the one side times another time, times another time, divided by math dot square root two times six. And you can say that in a number of ways too. Put that as the equation for the volume of a perfect or whatever, tetrahedron, same size. Get surface area, return this dot side times this dot side times math dot square root three. And that is all for tetrahedron, that is all for three-dimensional shapes. That's all for classes. All we have left to do is the driver. I'm going to cut the video here so that I can get the whole driver in its own video, which is next. Thanks. See you in a sec.